Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to install Android 13 on my Redmi Note 8. So currently I'm using uh, Android 12 L ROM, uh, which is working fine. And I have been using this ROM for a week now. And it's, it's not that bad actually. There are minor bugs, but still it's quite good. And I have made a video about uh, installing this ROM not a proper review of it because there was nothing new it's totally like android 12 so today we got another rom which is called moki os and it's based on android 13 so today uh, i'm going to install it and i will try to give you a quick glance of it and let's see what's new in this rom hopefully we will find something uh, new because almost all the roms i have tried in few months most of them are same there were nothing new uh, so i am quite disappointed actually there is there are nothing new but most of the rom actually quite good rom i think this rom will be also good but i don't know about what are what i am going to get with this rom so let's flash it so the process is same just don't dirty flash do a clean flash uh, the rom will work on jinko and willow I uh, means uh, 8 and 80 but in 80 I think NFC will not work I'm not sure so please check it so let's uh, flash the ROM I have already downloaded it in my pen drive so let's do it so hey guys uh, the rom is booted up as you can see we are in the startup process so uh, when it's uh, booting up actually after showing the boot animation it was went blank so don't be panic if you're flushing this rom if it uh, goes blank just uh, leave it as it is it will boot up on the rom so now uh, let's quickly finish our startup process so this the status process is like same as android 12 there will be nothing new i think so not sure let's see by the way this rom is actually not uh, purely under 13 this is the developer preview 2 so developer preview 1 i have already uh, made a video about it which was pixel os which was based on android 13 developer preview 1 this is uh, on developer preview 2 so let's see what's new as far as i can see our wi-fi and other things are working This startup process actually takes uh, much more time than in installation process. I don't know why, but it takes much more time than in installation process. So, hey guys, we are in the ROM now. So the setup process was uh, a little different than Android 12, not completely different, but little different. You will see something new there. And as you can see here, our status bar is uh, icons are little different. And also uh, what it called our others icon. So others icons also little different. I don't know why. And as you can see here, uh, our notification panel is dropped down to a uh, full screen now as you can see so there are something new here in this drum so let's check other things so in our oh there is no camera application here so you need to install your own gcam or whatever miui cam you can install it you can you have to you have to flash it so you are getting only a few apps actually so i have flashed magix 2 so magix also working so we are getting the stock apps 
and if I go to setting the setting menu is same as as you will get in your Android 12 ROM so about pixel phone if I go so it's based on I think pixel 5 so the model also showing pixel 5 and our Android version is Android 13 so let's click it I same as Android 12 the logo just now put the name Android 13 hopefully you can see and the security patch level is March 2022 and as you can see this is Make OS Jinko Tiramisu at 13 so other name of our Android 13 ROM is Tiramisu so it's based on that so this is developer preview 2 ROM and there is something new as you can see here so also you are getting Xiaomi parts I really like this feature Xiaomi parts which allow us to uh, tweak little bit our display setting and others so if you are uh, flashing this ROM Please try this setting so set color setting to 230 230 230 and you will probably uh, not get any kind of skin burning issue which present in our uh, Redmi Note 8 so I will do a uh, proper review of this ROM as it is running quite good so well, let's go back so other things it's uh, not that smooth actually so as you can see here it's quite laggy I think it will take some time to settle down maybe but rather than that other things actually working fine we are not getting any kind of music player or other things but as you know we can install it I have already backed up all the apps I have used in my previous run so let's go to security and check what's what we are getting here so we are getting as a pattern log is there swipe and none so other things like additional settings we are not getting i think any kind of um we are getting fingerprint lock as before but i cannot find it here hopefully it's some somewhere inside so the setting layout layout also change a little bit so if i go to smart lock let's go to the smart lock got it so we don't have face unlock actually but we do have fingerprint unlock as, as we found it in our um, startup screen so the logo are a little bit different and there is a tips and support option one more option if I go to gesture is same as Android tool nothing new here uh, double tap to check phone and other things and there are little something new and system updates is, is as you can see here it's showing android version android 12 not android 13 i think that just wrote they just wrote in the build prop that this rom is android 13 actually it's android 12 but it's on running on developer preview android 13 so what we are getting is same as android 12 but uh, there are slight difference so I think that's it there are nothing new as you can see here all the apps and it's sluggish little bit I think we need to change the our stock launcher so then we will get a smoother experience so that's it for today thank you very much for watching I will see you in the next video and I will do a proper video of it so that's it see you next time